It's hard to believe it's been 10 years since the Galveston National Lab opened. I remember it well. I wish I could be with all of you today to revisit this incredible research facility that has been doing what it was designed to do for a full decade. Many of you in the room remember how hard we worked in a highly competitive environment to win the bid to bring this national lab to Galveston. Not only did NIH step up, but the state of Texas brought significant funds to the table, and some extremely dedicated philanthropic partners in Galveston and beyond provided significant support to make this vision a reality. While I'm not a scientist, I've been an avid supporter of funding for science my entire career. I remain very proud to have been a part of helping to open the doors of this unique facility, which is such a wonderful resource, not only for our great state of Texas, but for some of the poorest nations on the globe, people who really need our help. Over the last 10 years, this lab has met its mission and surpassed some of our greatest hopes. It's allowed UTMB to recruit world-class faculty and research professionals. As part of the University of Texas system, this lab has served as a unique training ground for some of the best and brightest scientific minds in our country. It's a place where students learn and then go on to discover cures for deadly diseases or go on to help shape health policies that make this country and our world a better place. I want to express my heartfelt gratitude for all the work that you do there, and I'd like to congratulate you on a tremendous first 10 years. I can't wait to see what the next decade will bring.